What's up guys, Saman here from Aesthetic Progression and um, kind of trying to make again a quick video uh, just because I'm a little busy, I haven't done uh, much of workout video so I just thought I would do something like a vlogging thing uh, when I have time so that's uh, that's what this video is for, taking with my cell phone and doing just the basic editing uh, you know without much complex stuff um, so in this video I'm going to talk about uh, things that you want to do before you start your transformation so uh, you know, Christmas is coming, there's like family gathering, you know, Thanksgiving and everything. So uh, you are meeting your family and whatnot. So it's a good time if you want to get in shape or something, you know, it's time to begin your transformation. A lot of people actually do begin uh, their transformation right now. Uh, but there are a lot of complications when it comes to starting a transformation. And it's, I think it's those uh, little bit uh, difficulties that really come in the way. And you know it's kind of like sets you back on achieving your your goals. Um, so, so first of all, before you start any kind of transformation, one thing you have to be very, very, very clear is on your goals. So a lot of people start their transformation. You know they say, okay, they want to be fitter, I look good, but that's not enough. They don't set like any kind of precise goals. And what I meant by precise goals is going to be uh, the fact that you know uh, they they wouldn't say they want to lose five pounds or six pounds or ten pounds, but they would say I just look, want to look good, and that's really abstract, you know. And there is no way of measuring an abstract. So uh, when that happens, when you don't set a goal, you don't know how far or how close you are to look the way you want to look. So that's one very important factor that you want to con consider. Uh, before you start your transformation have something solid that you can measure the second thing uh, Just that's following the topic is going to be choose realistic goals And I mean if, if you are good look good on Christmas and that is what uh, no October right now So November is in two months uh, And if your goal is to lose 20 pounds and that's not going to happen and obviously, you know for the first few weeks or so you might be you know encouraged, but then you you see that you get on you won't be able to achieve those goals so you know uh, people slack off or, or just plain quit so that's not going to work so have something realistic uh, something that you can achieve and and with these realistic expectation also uh, try to figure out what's the best time for you to work out how long can you work out you know whether you should join a gym or you know invest yourself um, in like a home gym or stuff like that and whatnot and you know, have to decide what's more convenient to you. You know, and a lot of people think you know your mind is strong and you have to be motivated enough. But motivation doesn't really do anything. You have to plan yourself ahead if you want to be successful here. Uh, and then once you are committed to it, you know, once you have set a plan and stuff like that, uh, once you know what your goals at, and you know, once you find a program that suits for you, then it's time to start. And but start slow. Uh, you know, even though you have been working out, say, you know, for example, you were you were somebody that was working out, you know, very hardcore for a long time, and you couldn't work out for a couple of months or years because because of injury or life or whatever. Uh, first thing you need to do while starting off is start slow and take that mind off the fact that you were able to lift this much weight, or you were able to run this long or this fast or whatever it is. Uh, keep your mind off that and just make sure that you are, uh, you know, just starting off slow and progressing. Because a lot of people start off too much too soon. Uh, their body can't handle it. Their body can't get used to it again. They quit. So these are just uh, very quick tips that I can uh, that I uh, came across my mind without you know much thinking about it and stuff like that. Obviously, there are a lot of stuff in place. Uh, but then the few basic points are going to be, uh, first of all, define your goals and set the time period. And then, you know, um, choose the program that works best for you, best for your convenience. You know, set a plan and try following it that's most convenient to you. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be start slow, uh, but progress, gradually progress. So hopefully this minor tip helps you guys if you guys are planning to do some of your own transformation. I know it's not a lot, but you know, something that a lot of people miss. So hopefully it helps you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.